vlog it's your girl Mallory Louise and today is Monday October 23rd so my morning started super early I wake up around between 5 and 6 I know that's a broad range <laughs> but depending on if I have to go into the office or not um, I wake up between 5 and 6 a.m. to get pulling ready for school to get on the school bus and then today I had to pick up a Kroger order this morning Y'all, we was out of groceries and we needed groceries. Like, we needed it bad. So, I set a pickup order yesterday and they were all out of time slots. So, I had to pick it up today bright and early. So, I just got done doing that and um, now I am working. I actually started working a little bit before I left to go get groceries just to kind of jump start my day. It is some important things that I have to get out today that I want to get out before. 10 30 so i'm going to start that now it's 9 23. i want to touch a lot of new business today just because i didn't last week and i know that it's some out there so after i get out the important things i need to get out this morning before 10 30 i want to really focus on new business uh getting new business applications reviewed approved or denied and sent out so that we can stay up to date with the uh, November 1st effective date that is coming up. So that is what I am about to get started doing. I plan on having a very productive day today. My thought process is really positive thinking and I'm going to keep that in the forefront of my mind today. So let's get to work. guys so it's 12 56 i'm going to take a lunch break do you guys know that i'm still working on this project that's supposed to get done by 10 30 like still it's so manual it's crazy but i'm almost at the finish line and i'm gonna take a break and fix something to eat um and then get back to work i have not started in business but you guys know tomorrow i'm in the office so that those two office days are lifesavers <laughs> they are delegated days to get things done Y'all, let me show y'all real quick the, uh, hey, Pal Pal, what's wrong? Hold on one second, okay? Let me show you guys real quick the decor outside, and I'm going to show you guys the fall decor later, but here it is. Nothing too fancy, just something to make the girl smile and have a little holiday cheer going on so just have a little scarecrow that we got from actually we got that from the dollar tree last year in their five dollar section and we got these two little faux plants same place the dollar tree last year um that little barn thing in the back on the the ground there we don't know where to put that so we just put that there for right now that was five dollars as well from the dollar tree last year and then we just have this fall wreath and this I got from Amazon it came with a little welcome tag in the back and it's just so cute just something simple yeah so just something simple and then I'm gonna show you guys our fall decor that we did in the living room and dining room again something super simple got all the pieces from Amazon didn't spend too much money so yeah I got my little pal pal here say hey pal pal yeah she has been under the weather for like a week 
like last week she had like a fever for maybe like two or three days i mean it was like on and off but i don't know what's going around but she is feeling a little bit better i could tell she's not back to her normal self but i don't know what it is with these sick kids <laughs> okay why you got the whole hand in your mouth but yeah let me figure out what i'm going to make for lunch and then get back to work so I'm going to make some breakfast. We like breakfast around here, even though it's a little after one now. Um, and it's quick to make. But I do want to show you guys my little plant. So my husband's friend owns a restaurant and he just collects these plants. And um, he has a lot of them like in his restaurant that he gives away. And so I wanted to take one because I wanted to try my hand at trying to keep a plant alive because I usually can't keep them alive or flowers at that <laughs> but I really want to try and it's hard because it's not really a space I feel like there's not a space in the house like on the main level where I can put a plant where it'll get the sunlight it needs to get um so this is a orchid plant and as you can see they are about to bloom so he gave me this one and I want to try and see if I can grow it. So he said to try to keep it in the kitchen because these plants do really good with like, um, like the steam and things like that. And it technically doesn't need as much sunlight. I don't know how true that is or not, but I'm going to try to grow this out and see how it does. Because I want to, I don't know, I want to do something that I can look at and be like, yeah, I did that. Who knows what may come from that. Now, I don't want to be like a plant mom because I've seen some people who have like plants all over their house and that's just not, that gets too nature. You know, I'm not a nature person and you know. But we're gonna see how this works. Oh, look at my kiddos. Hey, Posh. Hey. I'm off work, guys. Do y'all know I was doing that project all day? I didn't do anything else. All I did was the project and I got done and I logged out. <laughs> My lord. It is 5.11. I logged off of work at about, I want to say maybe 4.45. So I was just trying to get this stuff done. Um, I think it's going to be an Asian cuisine night tonight. We found a brand that we really like their fried rice. And so we're trying their gyoza as well or what you call dumplings. So we're going to do that for dinner and then i'm gonna show you guys the fall decor and yeah so we found this fried rice that is really really good now trader joe's definitely has some good fried rice but i got this from kroger's okay this is babigo korean style fried rice chicken with korean barbecue flavor y'all this is so 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 good everybody liked it when we first got it drained it the girls liked it so next time we did our grocery shopping we have to get it again and it comes with two uh in a box and this was not enough for all five four of us so i had to get two boxes so we're making fried rice And then because the brand was so good, I wanted to try their dumplings, but they were all out of dumplings. And so I did a Kroger pickup, so they substituted something else for the dumpling. And they substituted these Korean-style mini wontons, it's chicken and vegetable dumplings. Now, we love dumplings. Like, I don't know if it's the same thing, but they call it gyoza. It's probably the same thing, but we're gonna try these and see how they are. Now, they are mini, so they're small which I didn't know they substituted small wontons, but we're gonna see how it is. Um, I don't know if it comes with a sauce. I'm not sure, but we have sauce that we can use. So this is going to be our dinner for tonight, something quick and simple, and we'll see how these are.
It's the next day. I'm at. Okay. I'm actually headed home. And I'm headed home early. They decided they want to have a fire drill today in the building. And I'm on the 11th floor. So I happily packed up all of my stuff. And I went down all those flights of stairs. And I'm headed home. <laughs> you guys know I get off at 3, so it's no point for me to. No. I'm taking all my stuff and I'm going. I will finish what I have to finish up at home. Work was pretty good today. Um, I got to work late. Guys, I don't know what is going on with me. I'm just like, well, we already know I'm tired. We, we've established that. We've established the tiredness. But my alarm will go off at the right time and then I like, I don't know if it's just I'm not snoozing, but I like fall back to sleep and then I wake up and it's like, oh, rush, rush, rush. So that's what it was this morning. I was rushing. I got pulled to the bus stop on time, thankfully, but I wasn't able to get ready to leave out at the same time. So I had to go to the bus stop and then got came back, got ready. And I got back, I got to the office around 8.42. So, y'all, it was a struggling morning this morning. I was struggling, not just struggling like the fact of getting up and getting out on time but I was struggling like just sad was I sad do any of you guys do that do you <laughs> do you like go think through your emotions like is that sad or is that tired or is that fed up or is that I don't even say the D word. I, I will not claim depression. I just, I, I'm not depressed. <laughs> I don't really know what depressed means. Maybe I should look it up, but I just don't claim it. I don't claim depression. I'm not depressed. I have down moments, but I, will, I don't think I could ever just label myself as depressed, even if it's for a short period of time. Um, it's power in the tongue. And I'm not going to go down that pathway of talking about depression and mental illness and all of that because everyone has their opinions about it. But for me, for Mallory and how I cope and how I get through down and hard times, for me, I'm not putting a title on it. I'm not, I'm, I will not claim something that I know does not come from above but with that said that does not mean that other people don't deal with that I'm just talking specifically for Mallory um <clears throat> but yeah this morning was I was struggling y'all I was just struggling Whew. but I'm fine now I'm fine in the sense of like I got through whatever I was going through this morning. You know, sometimes you just might have to cry it out or, you know, talk to God like, God, you wanna know what my, what my, I'm gonna tell you guys what my talk to God was about this morning. So as I mentioned briefly before, in maybe a, a few videos past back, um, I am going through some, some personal things and it's it's lasting what we're going through is lasting a little bit longer than what we would like but i understand that it's this is just a season that it's a moment and i just have to we have to get through the moment okay we just have to get through it sometimes we're so quick to pray like god take it away take it away fix it fix it fix it but i know in this point it's it's something that's going to <sighs> grow, develop you some type of way. You just have that mindset, you know? And so, yes, I would like God to fix it. And I know that he can fix it. But I also know it's some developing and growth that's going on right now. And so I'm just like, God, help me through it. Help me through it. I'm not looking so... I'm not so focused on, is it over now? Is it over now? Is it over now? Is it going to get better now? Is it going to get better now? No, I'm not focusing on that. I'm focusing on, Lord, help me through it. Taking it day by day. Sometimes hour by hour or moment by moment. 
but my prayer this morning when I was struggling, I was just like, God, I know this is just a season. I know this is just a moment. Lord, I know that we're going to get through this, past it. Lord, I know things are going to get better. It's going to be a better space and time and moment for my family. But right now, I just need a father's love. <laughs> and that's what I said. I said, God, I just need I just need a father's love. I just need to know, just to hear you say that it's going to be okay. I just need a word from you just to keep me going. You know, um, if you if you take it over to how you, you are with your natural family, you know, when you get a child gets hurt, they want the comfort of their mother. They want the comfort of their father. They know that this pain won't last always. It, they're a little cut or bruised from them falling off the bike. But sometimes they just want a hug. It makes them feel better in the moment, you know. And that's that was that that is what my prayer was this morning. I'm like, God, I know I will have the victory at the end of this thing. But right now, today, I'm struggling more than I was yesterday with it. And God, I just I just need I just need the love of my father right now. You know, and that was my prayer. <laughs> and that was my prayer, you know. And so today is just one of those days, like I feel way better than I did this morning. Way better. But you know when things that are on your mind is still like there, but I'm I'm functioning, you know. But that was my prayer this morning. Like God, I just need I just need it's gonna be okay. I got you. I know that he has me. I know that I'm gonna be okay. I know that, but I was just like, Lord, I need to feel that from you. I just need the love of my father right now. <laughs> so, yeah, this is something I know we're just going to have to go through. It's not going to be like, oh, fix it. it we're just going to have to go through it. And in the end, when it's all said and done, you know, God is just teaching me right now how to go through things, you know, how to cope through things with him not using other things and devices what I've been used, used to using before but how to rest and rely on him but moving right along I forgot to show you guys yesterday our fall decor so I'm going to show you guys our fall decor right now I hope you like it and I will leave the links below I got everything from Amazon um, well, what I leave in the link below is what I got from Amazon. And then, of course, some of the other things uh, I heard we had last year. I think I might have already put that in the vlog. I don't know what's in this vlog, y'all. I don't know what's in this vlog. <laughs> but, yeah, so here is the fall decor. 